It's impossible for the human conceptual to ever, ever, ever grasp the enormity of what's going on. The enormity of that perfection. <laughs> When you were speaking about a synchronicity, I would like to ask just more when you were speaking about synchronicity and being present and things happening and flowing. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the most beautiful part. I like to speak about that. <laughs> Well, just to keep it short, because there's a hand up already. What I was saying is that when you... when this... bends in surrender to the impulse, refuses the ego and continuously is acting from that impulse, every action, whether it's to pick this up or not, whether it's to do this, whether it's to move this way, whether it's to move that way, it's just an instrument in that action. Gradually what happens is that this whole system is, is that instrument of the truth in action. So, there is a growing joy that happens and what one experiences is that simply everything is... everything that happens is tuned in to this unfolding perfection, you know? Everything is connected and it's connected in it's almost impossible for the conceptual to actually grasp that perfection. Just everything is connected, but everything... It's impossible for the human conceptual to ever, ever, ever grasp the enormity of what's going on. The enormity of that perfection. So when you're there and you're confronted in moment to moment with the enormity of that perfection, all the associations of perfection that you make can still not express how perfect it is. What's going on is just beyond belief. So there is that... The word synchronicity is like a mild little... little sort of a, a whiff of description. It's just that much perfection. And it's real, it's, it's a present tense, it's not you spacing out and experiencing the cosmos and its largeness and its emptiness, rather it's being present here and really experiencing this... this perfection which is just simply breathtaking. And in order to experience this breathtaking perfection, there has to be the concurrent experience of surrender. There cannot, cannot be an, a detachment or an escape from anything. There's no observer, there isn't, because it's just this. The moment you start to observe anything, you're splitting it into two. So you cannot observe, you are, you are just here, it's just this. And that perfection that is experienced when that surrender... So the process starts with... Or the sadhana or the practice starts with the acceptance of an identity and that that identity, which is your name, is in surrender to the individualized cosmic soul. So it's individualized as the Antar Atman, and the surrender is happening from this. This is surrendering to it, not identifying with it, not saying I am, but saying I'm this. 
in surrender to that. And as that surrender grows, that experience literally of going with the impulse of the soul, refusing the ego, concretely turning away from the ego and tuning in, tuning in, tuning in, acting from that soul, what happens is that the that there is an expansion of consciousness within the system, growing. It does not leave into enlightenment states, into samadhi states, but it stays within the system. So it deepens and expands outward. And when that happens, or as that happens, the experience of this living grows in its intensity, where the associations that show the, the perfection grow. So you, you, you are aware of these associations increasingly, and they're not just conceptual associations, but they are material associations. The very cells themselves feel the perfection of their own existence. You know what I mean? It's... that's what's happening. And the emotional body, and the conceptual, and the, the, the transformative, and all the layers of consciousness are aware of their own action, which is impossible if there is an enlightenment. It cannot happen because the enlightenment means the experience of cosmic states, of dissolution of identity. Here there is no dissolution of identity, rather there is a, a sort of a, an increasing coherence, a contour. Ah, I'll take you after, I forgot. <laughs>